The shot for the left. Zozo has 10? Oh no, we're locked. We're locked. We both hurt you. So. It pulls in the middle of the street. It pulls in the middle of the street. I was like. Let's go. Another episode of Spectating Solos. Once again, I'm sorry I did not post yesterday. Uh, I had some things going on. He said, Slick said, love you. That's so cute. Thank you so much. Thank you, Slicks. Uh, we're going to do a Spectating Solos here. Let's see what type of lobby we have. We're, it is now 2.18 in the morning right now. And, uh, it's the day I always say that. We have, I'm landing on three people right now. So, right there, right in front of that guy. I don't know if he got a kill or not, but we'll see. Whoever he just killed is probably who I'm going up against in the gulag. I'm going up against Baby Elephant 310. Nope. Like, I, I guess he saw me first, but whatever. See you, Baby Elephant. He's going for an intel, alright? For anybody who doesn't know what intel is, if you guys... For anybody who played back in the day, I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know if I have any OGs in my channel, right? But any OGs, man, y'all know the Intel contract is kind of like the recon contract back in Verdansk or Wars on One, I should say. Um, you know, you, you complete the Intel and it lets you get a peek at the next circle. Once again, I'm gonna put that in in my how to play Wars on video, which is gonna be coming out soon. Oh my God! Somebody dropped a clutch mod to his left. I don't think he heard that. So there's somebody to his left. Baby Elephant's being hunted right now, but he's going straight for the Intel contract. He is seven thousand dollars. See, contracts are so important. Contracts are so important in inside of, especially in solos, but in, mo more important in everything. In any mode, you want to do contracts. You want to kind of make sure you're always doing contracts. Not only do you want to level because the levels up your gun, but because you need money. Money is so essential inside of Warzone. Like it, it's just it's so essential right here. You never, like, you're gonna need money for buybacks, for self revives for uh, UAVs, for just a, a plethora of things. Like, so many, so many things you can use for money. And this guy's just making a bunch of noise, sprinting around, busting through doors. He has no remorse for his life. But shout out to Baby Elephant. He doesn't take the zip. He's going straight for his contract. Breaking every single glass on the way there. He does not care. He does not care how much how much noise he's making. He's just, but I'm loving it. Versus the Warzone solos, wow. <laughs> oh man, this guy Woody. I put my camera on the left side because I want you guys to be able to see the text chat on the right side because sometimes it's people be doing some really funny stuff in the text chat. Another Gulag kit. He doesn't pick it up. He doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. Make sure you guys over you guys get a full look at what you guys are looking at. Um, what you guys are, when you guys are looting, make sure you guys, you know, take a full look. It doesn't have to be slow, you don't have to stare at it, but take a full look. Cause, you know, now he could have had another chance to go to Gulag with that Gulag kit. So, there's, there's a lot of ways to actually stay in the game now and and just stay alive, basically. Um, I've seen a lot of streamers, I've seen a lot of content creators talk about this, and someone said I'm bricked. That's funny. Uh, how do you guys feel about, for any of my wars on OGs, how do you guys feel about? Oh, the free UAV right there. He, he doesn't pick up the UAV. What is he doing? A free UAV pops out. He doesn't grab it. Oh my god. How do you guys feel about um basically BR becoming like having so many lives? Like you, there's so many lives you can have now because people people come back over and over again. I mean, you have the redeploy tokens. Um, you have Gulag intricates. You know, with eating, oh, he sees somebody on top of the building. And then you have, you know, when you're playing in squads, buy a on 3K, somebody's flying to his right, he doesn't see that. Two people right there, fighting, fighting. He, a 10 to 10 minute skin goes down. Free kill, free kill. He plays that very patiently. Now he has a bunch of money, taking all of their money, taking all their loot. He has 18K to his name. What is he gonna do with it though? See, this is what I'm saying. This, this is what I mean by a lot of people who just sometimes don't know what to do. I don't know if Baby Elephant has a loadout or not, but we're gonna go see. 
I always love seeing people's loadouts and seeing spectating it. I love seeing people's loadouts and spectating and see what type of loadouts they have. Baby Elephant pulls out a pull me out 762 and a WSP Swarm. Meta guns. Meta guns. I don't know about these classes, but these are meta guns. Pull me out. Can somebody please in the comments type how do you pronounce that word? Is it pull me out? Is it pull me off? I don't know. I like how do you pull, 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 I like I need to know. Somebody in the comments do like the thing where it breaks it down word for word. I need to know, okay? But while we do that, baby elephant bought a self-revive, he bought a UAV, and that's good. He used some of his money. I really don't like to I've been using seeing people use snap grip. Oh my god, he can land up right above. What you don't want to do is what Baby Elephant's doing now, just standing around in the open. Because if he does look down, you're all exposed. To the left. Oh my god, didn't even see him. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The swarm is just so good. <laughs> just... Oh my god, you gonna snipe somebody up the top? He landed on. Baby Elephant has the worst audio in the world. He has the worst audio. Come on, bro. Are you serious? Come on. <laughs> serious? Bro, you were out in the open, elephant. <laughs> look at that. All right, now looking at Joe Dye, who has a UAV up. That's, oh my God, yeah, he has to pop the UAV. Carry some stuff for him. Joe Dye has four kills to his name. He's more distracting that, which means he knows there's somebody there. This guy seems like he knows what he's doing. Somebody's landing in on him. Oh my God. Oh my God. The trick crosshairs up. Oh, oh. He was. That's what I'm saying. Just because movement is back does not mean you have to, you still have to shoot your shoot your gun and hit your shots. You still have to do that. Now we're now looking at Kevin JD. He has priceless and interstellar. Moving and grooving with the Pumio 762 and the WSP Swarm. This seems to be like a meta class. People know the meta of the sloppy, bro. People know that. Now this guy's moving and grooving. Four kills to his name. Moving around. Why why? Okay, this seems this might be one of the demons. He, he seems to be moving with a purpose, and I, I feel like I stress that in a lot of my videos. Move with a purpose. This guy seems to be knowing what he's doing. He's gonna buy a UAV here. He's probably gonna end up popping it. Yep, pops the UAV, and he sees where his next intel is. He sees where his next victims are, and he's just going. He's flowing. He's going. He hits a mortar strike. Boom, holds that for another thing, and now he's going. He's out. He's flowing. Like I love this. I love this. Keep like me personally. I I would move a little bit faster, but he looted it for a shot for his left. He he's very close to a UAV. He looted till he found a couple hundred dollars, got the UAV, popped it, now he knows where, at least where he's going. He, he probably won't have a UAV by the time he gets there, but he knows in what direction he needs to go towards. All right, so now he's looting for a little bit more money. Another precision, another, what is with all these mortar strikes and stuff? I will pick up that port of radar. He's gonna pick up the port of radar. He does pick up the port of radar. Always remember, make sure you guys are picking up port of radar. I try to carry a, a crap ton of those. Because when you don't have UAVs, you can just throw them down and get information where you are. And I like to have information that's flowing at all times. At all times. That's how you become a fast, efficient player. Um, it's just having UAVs flowing. Now, this guy, he sees shooting to the right, his building to his right. Like, over here. But, okay, he's going from zip to zip. He didn't see the guy to his right, but that's fine. He's zipping right past him. He sees shooting. Uh, I'll, I'll just wait on the other side. Saw somebody. Oh, 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 MTZ. Oh my god. He's using the damage indicator. Not not really. He doesn't know where he, that's not the right direction. To your right, to your right. He doesn't, yeah, he does not use the same damage indicator. If you guys always if you guys are ever trying to wonder where you guys are getting shot from, damage indicators. It tells you it, it, it tells you the exact spot where they're getting shot from. Oh nice. Good shot. Good nade right there. He, he remembers to play it up. He precisions that he needs to run away from that though, because he's still in danger zone of that precision. He was getting. There's another person there, so he's getting a third party. All right, so he's in the mix. He knows he's in the mix. He grabs that. I don't know if he wants to log out, but he's in the mix now. Looking at Kevin right now. Kevin's in the mix. How does he play this? How do you do? How do you? I, I love watching people when there's when they're in a mix of two or three people and seeing what they do. What do you do? How do you get out of it? It looks like he might have flanked that guy to the right, so now he's behind him. Let them fight each other. 
All right, he comes and cleans it up. He sees him right there. Easy kill. Easy kill. Put me on 762. Gets it down. Easy kill. Nice. That's exactly what I said. He, he flanked that guy. So now he's behind the other guy. He probably killed the guy he was fighting initially. So which means he got one out of two of those kills, which is fine. The point is he's alive, he, you know. He's going to snipe that from the left. Oh, man, right there on the tower, yep. Oh, he can get both of those kills. No, he doesn't. He only gets one. That dude has a riot show on his back. Dude had a riot show on his back. Oh, someone's landing in on the buy station. I wonder if he saw that. His shot for his left. Oh. Oh, yeah, he's in the mix. He is in the mix right here. Most of the lobbies right here. Gets back up. Smoke. Somebody dropped down on him. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Man. Okay. All right, now we're looking at Zozo. <laughs> Zozo. I kind of like his name. I don't know why I like his name. I just like that. Zozo. Zozo has 10? Oh, no. We're locked. We're locked. Zozo is the demon of the lobby. Let's get it. He has, a, yep, he has a WSP9, which if you guys have not watched my WSP9 video, make sure you guys go ahead and watch it. You know, it looks like he has my exact class, too. So make sure you guys go check that video out, because I'm telling you, he he watched Big Suit Gaming. Why are you guys not watching, too? So this is a good moment to say, get the class set up from your boy. Okay, looking at Zozo right here. He's going to get a free kill. Good knock. Gets the knock. He knows no one's right there. Zozo has 11 kills to his name. Making sure he could have jumped over the, the side, but he doesn't know that. Playing it really patient. All right, he's not there. Looking over the edge, see if he sees him. Sees that door's open. Most likely he's there. He has enough for a UAV. Oh, I don't know. I don't think he meant to do that. 16k. That dude had a bag on him. Somebody, somebody flying in. All right, at this point he. He, he, he checked the area. He knows he's safe. He's by a UAV. Smoke to buy. A really bad smoke. Really bad. He already had a UAV. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Flying above him. Right above him. Right above you. Look up. Hit your shots. Hit your shots. Hit your shots. Hit your shots. Broken. Broken. Nice. Nice. It was kind of shaky there for a second, but he got it. He got it. He ended up getting that kill. 12 kills. So his name Zozo is doing his thing right now. He's flowing. He is flowing, and I'm and I'm happy for him. UAV, so he must see him right there. Two teams, two people fighting. Well, he's going to get a free kill right here. Nay, get it. Yup. Crack. Nice. Perfectly executed. He knew that he couldn't get out of there, so a nade to crack him. Pretty much guarantee you win this gunfight. He got more money. He, now he's flowing. You have 8K. He go buy another UAV. He has a heartbeat sensor. He's flowing right now. He, he, he's on pace for a 20 bomb. If he keeps moving and flowing, he can get a 20 bomb. Well, I spectate my first 20 bomb. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. But right now, he's trying to he's trying to find some more people. See somebody to his left. On his left. He had to see that. You don't see that guy to his left. Oh, that dude to his left. I'm the one to kill him. No. They don't look at each other due to his left soul by not looking over to the right. And he sold by not seeing him to the left, but it's okay. I think he heard something. I didn't hear anything. I mean, I heard the cracks in the building, but I think he took the crack in the building and body. But it, that dude to the left is still over there. I'm actually locked in, bro. This guy's 13 with, with 16 up right now. Well, from his point of view, 15 up, 15 up, 15 people left, 13, people, 13 kills. He definitely can drop a, a 20 bomb right now. All right, so he's a car coming up. He's torching. He needs to torch that car. He's torching. Torching. He's not torching. The car sees him. The car has to see him, right? Okay, he's sliding for no reason. In this game, in this game, slide canceling actually, after a certain period of time, actually hurt you. You don't want to do that. This is not like Warzone 1 where you can just slide cancel and reset your tax sprint infinitely. You can't do that. There is a slide meter. Um, and it's been said by the devs there is a slide meter. And there's a tax sprint meter, I should say. And, and every time you slide, your meter pauses. So after a couple of times, sliding, your sliding will be dead. And that's how you get dead slides. So sliding too much, and especially slide canceling too much, 
will actually hurt you. So this guy's being cracked out for no reason. Like, what are we doing? Like, I thought you were a demon, but at this point now, now you're just trying to do wild wise and get TikToks. Like, bro, like what? You're doing too much. So sometimes too much movement is not good. You don't need to right there. He's a kill. The wrong gun for that fight. But he got the kill anyway. Ah, my bad. My bad. I forgot how good my class is. That's not the wrong gun for that fight. Because the WSP9 has the best range out of any sub in the game. It's like the Milano of old. If he hears somebody, he sees somebody. I don't know, but I would make a play for that buy. He's scoping the surroundings. 14 kills to his name right now. Doing his thing. He's very, he has a pretty decent shot. He just absolutely knows somebody's over here, and I don't know what makes him think that, but it's okay. If I thought I could hear this clock ticking in my ear, is that, oh my God, he hears it, sees him right there. Free kill, oh my God, hit your shots, bro. He drop shots, why? He can still get this guy on cross enough. Nice. Get the pull, you have a gas master, fine. Nice. Top 10 situation, 15 kills to his name. So us two ticks on this guy's mask. He was very, he, was, he played that very patiently. So he knew somebody was over there, so he said, I'm playing for this kill. And he, he was focused when I ain't got it. <laughs> somebody said I suck. <laughs> oh man, don't don't be so hard on yourself, Papa. Just tune in, sub to Big Soup Gamer, you'll learn how to get better. On top? Nope, that's the satellite. He needs rotating in. I know he's he's playing like very passive. I mean playing very aggressive. He's checking all his angles, make sure he's not getting shot in the back. But when you're out in the open like this, you need to be paranoid. Get get the cover, get the cover, get the cover, get to a building, get to a wall, get to something. Somebody just threw a mosquito drone, so you know somebody's up there. You don't even need a heartbeat sensor. Just use your mini map. Somebody threw a mosquito drone. Which means you know somebody's up there. about mosquito drones do they need buffed do they need to be nerfed because i i died in mosquito drones but i almost never get kills with mosquito drones so it's like one of those things he knows he, yep nice nice heartbeat heartbeat sensor man he got to kill with the heartbeat sensor he knew the guy in there plays it just it now he has a full gas mask that's what he needs to do is he sip across here let's take the dangerous one and zip across He does. He zips across the top building. He sees one on there jumping from building to building. He could sneak up on that guy, but I don't think he wants to go for that fight. And I don't think he saw him either. He's going to stay right here in the middle of the circle. Zirko's probably going to pull to him. It doesn't. It pulls to the middle of the street. It pulls to the middle of the street. Oh, it's about to be chaos. To the right. Here's the clutch of mine. He knows the guy on top of that roof where the bot station is. I'm trying to find a good angle on that guy. Does that guy jump down? Oh, yeah, he, he jumped to the other building. Yep. Sniper to the left. I will be looking right now to see that sniper to the left. You know this guy under you. It says one, two. Sniper to the left, three. You're four. So he's looking for one more person. That might be him, actually. Yep, time to the left. He got that. He stole that kill. He stole that kill. At least I think he did. He has a gas mask. He's playing his gas mask a little early here.
All right, he didn't. He need to rotate. Now he's gonna be coughing. Somebody's flying into his right. Get to that heady. It's still due to the left. I don't think the sniper to the left died. It's a one v one situation. He has to be on the heady. Hundred percent has to be on the heady. If he's not on the heady, he's selling. The guy he's fighting, if he's not on the heady, he's selling. Close range. Up top, top, top. You hear? He's above you. This is actually a five hit IQ, but he's selling. Nice. W nades. He wins from that. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. It's, he has to jump to you. Oh, okay. This dude, this dude Zozo's gonna get the win right here. Zozo's gonna get a 17 bomb here. Stun. Good shot from Zozo. Oh my god. Oh. No. And then he gets assassinated. <laughs> High ground always wins, apparently. No. I was rooting for Zozo. That's heartbreaking, bro. Oh, man. I know Zozo is so bad right now, bro. But. Break down here. What did he? What did he do wrong? He should have. He should have went to a higher ground and rotated a little early. Once you know where somebody is, rotate to a perfect position to fight there. And so he wasn't in a perfect position. This guy had higher ground and just won the game, man. So, man, shout out to this guy. But if you guys want more tips and tricks videos or just more spectator videos in general, make you guys like the video because Boraz Bot Gaming got the win from just having high ground. You watch Star Wars, I guess. But if you guys like more content like this. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, Sue, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.